RK3 Designs, and guess what? It's Tuesday night, and we are live. Welcome to everyone. So, if you don't know, by now, I was involved in a car accident, so that's why I have my hand in a this. So, I fractured my wrist. I have to have surgery. I don't know when. I don't have time, but we'll get that done. And I messed up some stuff in this arm. So tonight, <laughs> we're going to have a good time. Alrighty, so welcome my sidekick here, Keith McGinnis with KCDC Designs. Hey everybody, glad to be here on the Tuesday Night Live. Excited about uh, what we're going to do tonight. Yeah, we're going to do foils tonight, guys, because I figured foils would be easy <laughs> enough with this. Uh, what is really funny is we have a pro class starting tomorrow. So I have four days of teaching coming up and um, it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to definitely pull uh, and rely on Keith and Mitch. Quist is here from Stonecoat and Leslie and everybody. We're going to work as a team and we're going to get this class so that's going to be awesome. But tonight, what we're going to do is one of my favorite things ever in the world to do is foils. All right, I get calls every single day for foils. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so before we get started, let's say hello to all of our newbies here tonight that have never joined us on a live. So if you are new to a live, please, please let us know where you're joining us from in the comments. Uh, so our moderators tonight, we're a little, uh, maybe a little shy. Uh, Vamp is not going to be joining us tonight. She's a little under the weather. Um, I know Erica was sick. I'm not sure if she's on here tonight, but I know Claire's for on. sure that Clara is here. So Clara is an amazing moderator and let me tell you something, y'all. She can handle this all by herself. Uh, she's going to be posting some links of some of the things that we talk about. So um, make sure if you have any questions. If she can't answer it, we will go back through later on and we will answer them. Okay, so let's kind of start with the basics of what a foil is. So foils, what did I do with that one? Mm -hmm. All right, so what foils is, is it is a design that has been metallicized on a carrier. And in this case, the carrier is a clear piece of plastic. So what you're seeing is the design through the carrier. All right, so the actual print is on this side. So you can see it's kind of the dull side. So when we lay it down, we're going to lay it dull side down on the adhesive, and then we will pull it up. All right, so all of these products can be bought on the website Artistic Painting Studio. Jennifer Ferguson is a fantastic friend of mine. I've known her for what feels like 100 years, and I really do attribute her to me getting into the faux finishing industry years ago. She was a mentor of mine, still is, and I absolutely love her. And she's also the one that I pair up with and we do our designer finishes class, which this year is going to be in November. I believe it's the second week uh, weekend in November. It's a three-day class and it's where we show you really high-end finishes where we use uh, multiple types of mediums and along with the epoxy so it's really a fantastic class we do it once a year so as soon as I get that on the website you guys need to uh, join us all right so first thing we have to do is we have to put an adhesive down and once that adhesive dries then it's you lay your your foil down and then that's what pulls the pattern off of the plastic carrier so can if you'll kind of zoom in here, what we're using, and, and guys, I've used a hundred different foil adhesive, but this is Jennifer Ferguson's 
um, own formula. This is her, uh, she came up with this formula. And let me tell you, I absolutely love it. What I love about this is once you put this adhesive on, it will take about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what your temperature and what your humidity is. And it's going to dry to a sticky tack. All right, so we already have it on these two boards. So I'll come, come over here and Kenny can show you what that looks like. So this has already been applied. And the way we test it is we put our finger and we just tap it. And what will happen is our finger will come off completely clean. That's when you know that your glue is set up and it's, and it's good to go. Now, uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Hang on a second. We're having technical difficulty. The world is spinning. Hold on, our, our gimbal just went nuts. I'm not gimbal. sure. I'm not sure what happened. Hold on. <laughs> I can't wait to see that live. <laughs> I know, that's gonna be fun. Alright, so <clears throat> what happens is once this glue gets to that stage where it's tacky, which is where it is right now, it will never go beyond that stage. It will stay tacky forever wow. until you put something on top of it. Once you put something on top of it, it takes the stickiness away. So once we put that foil down, there's no more sticky. Alrighty? So what I'm going to do, since we already have the glue on these boards, because it does take, like I said, 45 minutes to an hour to dry, is I'm going to show you how we apply it. So it's just, it looks literally like Elmer's glue. All right, so you just get a roller and you're just gonna roll it on. It's fairly thick. You don't want to thin this out too much because if you do, it won't have the strength that it needs to pull the foil off. So literally, this is what we do all right then we'll let this dry and then we'll um it'll be ready to go i don't know why we got that silver foil it's not gonna be ready for tonight uh, no, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, just, you never know i'm thinking out loud never know How okay might take yeah we may see all right so then that's ready to go i'll put this away and in 45 minutes to an hour this will be ready to use as a transfer so let me do that and then what Keith is gonna do is he's gonna scoot our boards in and we're gonna show you how to do the foil so give it just a second now you made a comment about this will stay tacky pretty much forever mm -hmm. which also means it's gonna be a dust magnet so oh. if it is going to be a while before you're going to apply that keep yeah. that in mind yeah so that's a great point that Keith brought up if you're gonna put your say your glue on one day and then you're going to wait two or three days later to come in and put your foil. Make sure you put that somewhere where the dust and the bugs and the critters can't get on it. Because let me tell you, this is the stickiest stuff I have ever, ever in my life had to deal with. Sticky, sticky traps, they have nothing on this stuff. But it is amazing. Now, it is water-based, so it cleans up with soap and water. I actually leave my roller, I actually leave it in the can so that it's ready, just like I do my paint, it's ready to go as soon as I'm finished using it. And I clean up my roller handle or any brushes that I may use. I will use uh, soap and wa warm soap, soap and water and it's ready to go. All right, so what you'll need is a little scrubby brush, okay? And you don't want it super hard but you want it to have a little bit of firmness, okay? And then you're gonna use a soft cloth. This one is just one of those microfiber cloths. Okay, so let's, let's talk a little bit about what we've done so far. All right, so these are a set of cornhole boards. Our cornhole boards, and I, as many cornhole boards, anybody ever have a hard time saying cornhole boards? <laughs> Say that three times. We don't own a set of cornhole boards, so we do now. All right, so a former student of ours had these, he made these for us, and what he did, you can't tell, but what he did, do you have a flashlight on your phone? 
Mm -hmm. um, is he actually CNC'd this, our logo, out on these boards. And that he, he CNC'd it all the way through. So it was a hole. So what we did is we actually took some uh, casting resin. Nope, I lie. We used regular epoxy. Yeah, he's got his. And we actually, Mitch, oh, wow. can you grab those lights? Turn those yeah. lights off really quick. So what we did is we poured uh, the epoxy into this. very, And we used a translucent dye. And when we, what we're going to do is we're going to put lights up underneath up behind here so they'll they'll show through here and so that's what we're starting with so this is actual resin here we sanded it all level and now we're ready to go to the next step so um we also painted the substrate with the black stone coat undercoating you can paint it with anything that you want to just like you're going to prep a regular board to pour epoxy all right, so uh, let me see. What are we talking about next? All right, so we, we glued it, and now we're ready to go to the next step. Now, a couple of things. When you're doing foil, it's super important to paint your base color something that's going to complement your foil because you're never going to get 100% of this foil to release off the carrier. There's always gonna be a little bit left. So if I had this painted, say, red, and then I do my foil over it, anywhere that the foil did not come off, uh, it's gonna kinda peekaboo that color through, which actually can be really cool. So if say, let's say I did paint it red, then I would have a little bit of that red show through. And that might be something that you guys love. Who knows? But in this case, we did it black. And when it starts to show through, it's going to be really cool. Now, the cool stuff about foils, y'all. You can put foil on anything. Literally, you can put it on anything. You can put it on uh, wood, on glass, on metal, on clothes, oh my gosh, purses, ceiling fans, shower walls. This is exactly the pattern that I have on my shower walls in my bathroom. So fun stuff. So it's, it is just amazing things. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start rolling it out and then you guys can kind of see how we do it. Sometimes you will wrinkle this before you put it down. Oh, I was going to get to that. Yes. All right. So, yeah. hold, no, you're going to hold the big one. You're going to hold oh, the big side. Okay. Put your fingers in I'll it. I'll hold the big side. Okay. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> Got it? Okay. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to roll this out, and then I'm going to lay it down, and very gently, I'm going to put some pressure on that, <clears throat> and then I'm going to pull it up to see if I like it. Now, as Keith was saying, you can put it very, very uh, flat like we're going to do. Or you can actually, I've got a piece right here. You can actually take your foil and you can crunch it up. Okay? So by crunching it up, now when I lay it down, <clears throat> see how it's crunched up? If I were to lay this down, I would have some really cool looking texture on here which I do all the time and that's gonna allow some of that black background to kind of pop through but in this particular case I want to try to get it out kind of smooth okay knowing already that we're probably gonna have some um, peek and booing of the black all right you're ready sir I'm ready all right here we go all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to have a salvage on each end, meaning I'm going to lay it down and have an overhang. Give me a little bit more. And I'm going to have an overhang on all my sides. Now, I'm going to lift yours up now. Lift it up real high. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just stick it on here. And then I'm going to get my rag. Don't pull too hard. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to very softly lay this down. Now, what I want you to notice is I'm not going to go right to the edge, 
okay? Because if I push this rag right to the edge and I, and I press it down all the way to the edge, I'm going to have a very hard seam, which means when I come with my next layer, I'm going to have to match up all that pattern. So by waiting and going about a half an inch off, when I get ready to do the next layer, you're, I'm going to be able to fade that, um, that seam in so you won't be able to see where I seam my two pieces. Uh-oh, sorry. We were supposed to be on airplane mode, but I, I guess... I did put it on airplane mode. I don't mode. know why. It's not, it's still ringing. That's weird. Okay. Hold on. Are we back? Turn it on. There. Okay, guys. Sorry. We had a phone call come in, and I don't know why that happened. We have it on airplane mode, so that's weird. All right. So, I'm going to kind of keep pushing it down. It goes start kind of going down just a little bit. There we go. So, I'm just kind of working that piece down. Working it down, and I'm not putting a lot of pressure. Now, if you'll notice, I have some wrinkles in here, and that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix those here in just a minute. Now, one thing you have to do about your, learn about your foils is that you're going to have to embrace the small imperfections because you're not going to get perfect application. That's just the nature of the foils. Do we have scissors? All right. I don't know where they went. Okay, hold on a second. We have some scissors we're looking for. Oh, I think I, they're right here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to leave some salvage. Wow. You know these are bad scissors when they won't cut foil. <laughs> okay, so now, remember, wherever we have glue... It's going to stick. You don't have glue, then that's not, you know, it's not going to stick there. Now, what I want to show you is that we very lightly rub this, okay? So now I'm going to check it. And so I'm getting a little bit of a transfer, okay? Now, sometimes I actually do um, designs where I don't do 100% coverage, and it depends. I wouldn't do it with this foil. But some of the foils have a really cool design that look really cool. If you don't get a hundred percent coverage, especially if you're trying to create a vintage look. Now, what I want you to see, see these these wrinkles. So I'm going to do what we call burp. I'm going to pull back up, and I'm going to readjust, and that's going to take care of those wrinkles. What do you call it? Burp it. Burp. We're going to burp it. Okay. And so what that? Awesome. Yeah. So what that does is. It opens it up and where that air was, and then when you lay it back down, you can take the wrinkles out. So what I usually do is kind of lay it all out, again, mm -hmm. being really careful not to go all the way to that edge, and then I'm going to come back in with my little scrubby brush. What do I do with it? Go, oh, dear. All right, so now I've got my little scrub brush. Now, this is what's real important. You don't want to scrub in a circular motion. Because if you do, that circular motion is going to transfer up through your pattern. So you want to go straight lines. Now some foils require more pressure than other foils. And literally on Jennifer's site, she has hundreds and hundreds of foils. Can't do that. Yeah. So, if you're just going to go, I'm going to show them one burpee real quick. All right, so see this right here? When I lift it up, we, well, already, you will, we already fixed that one. Yeah, you, we fixed it. So, what happens is if I lift it, and there's a wrinkle, if I lift it and then go back down over it, it's going to take that wrinkled area out and allow me to take that wrinkle out. Because right, that so, wrinkle actually still has print on it. Exactly. That wrinkle has print. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to get these edges. And again, Keith, if you want to do this, and just be real careful not to get not right to next to in. that. All right, so in one direction. So 
So, I'm actually going to see if this will work down here with the mango spreader. Alright, I'll tell you what. So a little I'll, wrinkle right there. Yeah. So, so that yep, you can just down. pull it. I yeah. just burped it. You burped it. I burped it. <laughs> Alright, looks good. Wow. So, now what you'll notice. No. You can't purchase them from Rhonda. What, oh. the foils? Yeah. Yeah, no. So, Clara should put a she link. Just did. Yeah. So, you cannot purchase these from me. I used to be a retailer. Uh, I may become a retailer again, but honestly, if you purchase from her, uh, she'll, she's got a whole shipping department, and that's all she does is, I mean, she's got an amazing setup, uh, but you can use the code RK3, not RK3 Designs, but just RK3, and you will receive 10% off. Okay, so I'm going to show them something here. Okay. So look and see how we're still having a little bit of that foil left on the plastic. Remember how we said you're not going to get 100% coverage? And see right here, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but see how there's like little black dots? And right here, there's like little black dots. So go ahead and lay that back down. And now we're going to scrub just a little bit harder. And those little, and those areas. Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Right here, yeah, a little bit harder. Yeah, there you go. You can see them transfer. Yeah. Yep, and now we've got 100% coverage. So don't think, yep, now, now they're perfect. So that's a good test also is looking at your foil. Yeah, you looking at you your foil, exactly. Under. All right, so go ahead and finish. Now, while he's doing that, I want to tell you what you want to make sure that you don't do. Like I said, that's all right, we can feather it out. Like I said, these this glue is super, super, super sticky. So you want to be super careful not to allow the shiny part of your foil to stick to the glue. Because it is so sticky that if, you, if that happens and you pull that foil off, it could pull the glue off the substrate. And then nothing's going to stick. So at that point, if that happens, don't panic. All you have to do is go back, paint that one little area with the glue, wait till it dries, and then go back over it. And I'm going to show you guys, and that's, that's good. I'm going to show them how to use the salvage edge. All right, so if you'll notice, I hand-painted this glue around my lettering. So there's no glue on here, obviously, so there, there's no foil going to release on those areas. All righty? All right, sir, okay. keep on going. Do you have a code, Rhonda, right now? Yes, RK3 is the coupon code for you guys to use. And that will give you 10% off. See what's happening here? The reason this is coming off in an R is because there was no glue here. So that, therefore, that's why that Didn't pattern it's still there. All right, are we good? Did you go all the way down? Yeah, but I want to just keep kind of checking that right okay. there. Yeah, more and we can we can actually go back. Yeah, that's good. And I'm not 100%. Oh, I was almost <laughs> going to get that plastic. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm not going to really be super worried about getting 100% coverage because I kind of like that black background to play a part in the design because it really does look kind of cool so you made a comment about <clears throat> you can put this glue and you can put this on anything mm -hmm. so and as far as your base color being mm -hmm. a solid black mm -hmm. or having different colors mm -hmm. could you if you had a particular design that you had epoxied go over that with this and so what is ghosting through or what is showing through are the colors from... Yeah, and you can do it the other way around as well, which I have done. You can put your foil down first and then come over with a pattern of epoxy and have clear spots. And then your, your pattern is going to ghost up and peekaboo through up through that clear epoxy. I've done that a lot. I have seen you do that. Yeah, really so that's cool. really cool. Um, but you can also do, like Keith said, is once your epoxy is dry, you can patch, put this 
on top of your epoxy. Absolutely, either way. Now, if you do use this on clothing, then I'm going to show them how to fix this. If you do use this on clothing, there is a different adhe adhesive for clothing. So uh, that's made so it can be washable. All right, so I want to show you something right here. Can you, I don't know if the camera will show that. Right here we have a little bit of area where you see the little black shining speckles. through, little speckles. Yeah. So what's really cool is I can come in here with my salvage. And my salvage is just my hang, the area that was hung over. I can actually come to that area and I can go over just that area. And because that there's still a little bit of glue, see how it pulls? See how it pulls wow. that off? Yeah. So that's how you can spot fix. So instead of trying to find yeah, you stuff can, that didn't transfer. Yep, you can just spot fix any place that you feel that may be a little bit sticky. You can go back over and fix it. And I love that. Now, this is what I wanted you guys to see. Look at my edge. See how my edge is not real hard? Now, right here, we got a little close. Sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> and and it's, it's going to be fine. But see that hard edge right there? That's what we want to try to avoid. But when we do our next layer, you're going to see how this is all going to blend in. All right, so let's grab. You guys got to let us know in the comments if you can see what yeah. we're seeing of how cool that is. That is amazing. Wow. All right, next so roll. let's get Yep, let's get yep. our roll. All you right. You go that away? Yep. Here we go. Number dos. Now, what we're going to do, Keith, is we're going to overlap it this time about an inch or so. Okay. Okay? Maybe, yeah, about an inch, inch or so. Inch and three little marks? Inch and three little marks. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, Alex. <laughs> All right, so give me a little bit more. Okay. Give me a little bit more. Okay. So what we're doing is we're overlapping our seam here by about an inch or so. Okay. Uh, where's my rag? Now this time, as I start to lay it down, I can go all the way. Because now there's, uh, there's no stickiness here. So that line, is it's not going to be a hard line. Oh, wow. Okay? So, but what I don't want to do is when we're scraping, I don't want to get off and scrape this. Because this is very delicate until I put epoxy on it. That's why you overlap, so you wouldn't that, have to worry about scrubbing into that. Exactly. She's done this before. A couple of times. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here, see that line? I'm going to burp it, and then I'm going to lay it back down. Can I add sound effects? Burp? Nope. <laughs> Glad we don't call it. Well, never mind. <laughs> I won't even say that. No, we'll stay away from we'll that one. We'll stay away from that one. All right, so I'm just going to pull it. Burp it. See that little? I can burp it and lay it back down. Okay. And you just kind of run your hand, keep that up. Okay, start to kind of go down a little bit. There we go. Now, when we did, I don't know if you guys saw the. Um, snake table that Jennifer and I did. I have a video on that. Um, I should have given that link to Clara. But um, that one was really fun because it was super important that we matched up those patterns. But most of the foils that we do, matching the pattern really doesn't matter. Again, did we lose our... Scissors? Scissors? Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. I guess I'm back over there. Well, <laughs> here they are. I tell you what. Kept them close. I did. All right. I think it's time for some new scissors. What do y'all think? All right. So, through there. so immediately, immediately we want to push that down and get it to stick. Again, avoiding that right there. Now, I'm not worried about this circle. Uh, I mean, you could stick a hole. You can start actually. Brushing. Uh, yes, you can start brushing it. Okay. 
Burp. Burp, burp, burp. All right. Now remember, when you get to this edge, I'm you want to be yep. real careful. Yep. yep, I'm watching. And I'm going to go ahead and just rub it here. All right, so let them see this. All right, guys, so here's our seam. All right? Right there, so you really can't see it, but this is a really good, I hope y'all can see this. See that little line right there? That shiny line, that's from having a wrinkle in your foil. So I'm gonna show you, where's that brush? So here's what happened, see it right here? See that line right there? That's because there was a wrinkle, so that part of the foil did not touch the surface. So what I'm gonna do is I burped it, so now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna rub it. You gotta to to put a little bit more pressure when you're rubbing it. Okay. Now oh, look. Yeah, I see, see how now there's no line? Disappeared. Yeah, it disappeared. So on this particular foil, this this foil requires a bit of real pressure. See how there's still a lot left on this on this plastic. So this is a foil that really does require some pushing. And remember, you can't go in a circle, all right? So and then sometimes you even have to kind of burp this on purpose and then lift up and then go back down. And then you see, we've got 100% coverage. Yep. Now I like that edge real good, that's good, all right. Yep. And I can see this too, so okay. a little more aggressive with it. All right. So, Mitch, is there any questions that I need to answer while Keith is doing that? Clara's nailing them. All right. Clara, you're she amazing. Is the bomb. Yes. So, guys, I forgot to introduce the man of the hour. Bless his heart. They've been working so hard. We've been doing some flooring. Always the last one. Not like always. Not always. We always. saved the best for last. How about that? <laughs> but Mitch is over uh, hanging out. You may want to do a pan over there and let Mitch say hello to everybody while we're doing this. And then kind of show everybody the classroom, how it's ready for our pro class tomorrow. Want to say hi to everybody, Mitch? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to supervise you tonight on the union break over here. That's it? Break. <laughs> I'm going to get me another scrub brush. We're going to have to uh, maybe take them out, Mitch. Show them. Sanded though. Well, it is. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put the top coat on. You can show them the flake out the window. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so let's get this one last part. I'm gonna stand on this side, Kenny. Is that gonna be okay? Roger, sure. what's gonna happen? Whatever you need. Well, um, it's okay. I've gotta have surgery oh. on it. Uh, I've got a bone, I've got a fracture, and then I have a bone chip. Uh so I've gotta have that surgery, but I don't know when I'm going to have that surgery because I don't have time for a surgery. It's so, yeah. Um, so let me do a couple. Where can he go? Let me do a couple of announcements while he's doing that. All right. So a couple of announcements, guys. Uh, we're still doing the free shipping uh, if you have orders over a hundred dollars, and we have now changed our office phone number. All righty. So our new number is 830-433-7199. I did it. <laughs> so I think Clara is going to post yeah. that. Awesome. Already? So, yeah. Um, Clara, you're She's amazing. amazing. You're an amazing woman. Uh, but I don't anyway, know how she does it that fast. <laughs> if you guys need us, call that number. Uh, we now have extensions to the different departments. If you need to talk to Leslie, you can go to the shipping and all that stuff. Um, you can leave us a voicemail. Do I have a line myself? Yeah, Kenny. Well, you're going to, babe. You're oh, going to. No. Uh oh, Kenny's going to have his own extension. Ooh so, la la. Yeah, ooh la la. But anyway, we're still working some of the bugs out because it's, that system is way more, uh, it's way smarter than me. So we're still working on that. Um, anyway, but I just wanted to make those couple of announcements. Now, tonight we're not going to put the epoxy on just because we've got a lot going on. Uh, I mean, a pro class starting tomorrow. 
and I, I don't want to have to clean up epoxy for tonight. But our next step would be to um, just put the epoxy on there and at three ounces per square foot, basically you're going to be doing a flood coat. Um, I definitely will be putting uh, some bling into this. Halo? Uh, nope. For sure. Nope. Yep. <laughs> that's Kenny, what's going on there. Kenny loves Halo. That's the man glitter. He loves it. These are my boards. Uh, what? what? How do you know they're your boards? How do you know my boards? <laughs> I don't think so. Babe, you can put whatever you want. I know. I am. <laughs> um, okay. So anyway, since they're cornhole boards, technically you would really only have to put one coat of epoxy, but we're going to put two. Okay, because we really do want uh, the durability there. And then we'll also put the gloss uh, UTC. Uh, the UTC works great on cornhole boards. It actually gives it just enough grip on there so they're not so slick that your bags slide off. So we do a lot of tournament, tournament boards, and they love the UTC on there. So that's a pro tip for you guys that are doing the cornhole boards. Uh, and then we'll put lights. Around the edge, Kenny will build the uh, frames. Also, we do have a uh, series of videos showing the complete process from start to finish to pouring them, cutting them, Kenny putting the lights on them, everything, a whole series on how to make these cornhole boards. And we make a lot of these. So, um, all right, so you about ready? Let me get help you out. How am I doing, gang? You're doing good. So I'm going to help you out right here. All right, we're good. Now on the inside now, of this ring. What I'm gonna, yeah, we're going to just take this okay. whole thing off, and then I'm going to show them how to do the inside. All right. Okay, you just take that. All righty, good. So look at, our, look at our scene. Actually, you know what? Bring me some uh, salvage area. Yeah. Just it, it, You can just bring me an edge. All right, so... What we can do is kind of clean up this edge a little bit. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, so you can see right here we have a little bit of the um, the pattern showing through, I mean the block showing through, and it's a little bit sticky. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit, and I am going a different direction. Mm -hmm. Now I am. There we go. I was going to go a different direction. So I'm going to go ahead and start scrubbing a little bit. See how I just softened out that one little area? Is there a, a salvage that's running the same direction as... Oh, that one? No, that's... No. Still. Well, that one, let me see. Is that... No, that's the wrong. No, that's... Oh, no, no, that might not work. Okay, so I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to soften out that seam now. Same as kind of that. Yeah. So it does take a little bit of practice to get your seams down to where you don't have that show through. But well, you have to look for it to see mm -hmm. it. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Now, this is what I really wanted you to know. This is no longer sticky. As soon as you get that wow. foil on there, it is no longer sticky. Now, we've got a few pieces right around this hole that are... <clears throat> really shining through so it's you can use that sassy that you can use that salvage to come in here and fill in any little areas now remember once you pull your pattern off of your plastic then you got to make sure you use the salvage that has the pattern on there Ron I have a question yes if we put the First leopard print this way, and then peeled it up and had the RK3 le it would be left on there completely. Mm -hmm. Could we then put that on my back or chest? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> would, the glue, would it transfer? Yeah, yes, it, it will. It will pull every hair out of your <laughs> chest out. Let me tell you, this wax is wax on, wax off. Yes, very, very sticky. <laughs> done that okay, now this is what I do. Pay for a video. This is what I wanted to show you as well. When you, you can get really creative in doing this, um, I love to do a pattern and then come back with like maybe a stencil and, and go back over 
a pattern with glue, pull your stencil off, and then come back with a different foil. So you can layer on top of this. You can glue right over the top of this? If I wanted to go back over this, let's say I didn't like it or something, I could sand this very, very lightly, because if you try to sand it, it's, it's glue, okay? You could very lightly kind of scuff sand, repaint the glue, and go back over it with oh, a complete gotcha. different foil if you wanted to. Right. You can even paint this. So I've done that before too. We've done sample boards and then we paint them and we put another layer of foil. So there's so much that you can do. Now this, once it's on there, it's it's on there. Okay, because remember it's microns thin. So it's not something that can start peeling because it's it's now embedded into the glue. So our next step is going to be to go straight over this with our epoxy. And I mean, it's just, it, it's so easy. It is the easiest way to get a really cool pattern. She actually has uh, some foils that look like marble. She has some foils that look like a slate that is absolutely gorgeous. And um, I mean, it's completely endless. We have, I've done this on furniture, obviously cornhole boards, uh, I've done jeans, ball caps, tennis shoes, purses, you name it. Um, so it is very, very cool. Countertops. Guys, if you have countertops that have that integrated... Ow, sorry. Careful. <laughs> I twisted my arm. I can't twist it that way. If you have a countertop that's got an integrated... <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Vanna. <Sure. laughs> that has an integrated backsplash, this is the perfect thing to do because you already have your pattern up on the backsplash also if you're doing a sink that's got that integrated sink wow this is amazing because now you can take that pattern down into the sink and i've got several videos where i've actually done integrated sinks and they turned out fantastic uh, i actually give you an example i a builder had pulled out one of those sinks from the 80s that had that integrated sink in the backsplash right and i actually Fixed, I sanded it, got rid of the big cracks and everything. I bondoed it and painted it and got it all pretty. And I went over the top with uh, a leopard foil, not this one, but one that was a little more uh, metallic. And I had a student in my class and I sold that sink for $500. So guys, <laughs> no there is a market for that. Uh, because most of those, uh, a lot of those sinks are made to a standard length. Mm -hmm. So you could easily, <clears throat> if you want a side hustle, go get those sinks. And they don't have to look pretty because you're covering them up. As long as they're flat and smooth, I'm telling you, it is a, it's a little niche that you could do out of your garage and have the best time. Um, so Lazy Susans, everything. There's just an endless possibility to you this. You could do this on, couldn't you do this on door fronts for you drawers, do for on, cabinets. I did a Cabinet top and cabinet yes, drawers. Yes, I've done whole kitchens Whatever you can get foils. glue on, the foil, the foil is going to adhere to. Yep, absolutely. Wow. I have a friend that did uh, her glasses, the frames of her glasses. <laughs> and uh, because she, there were the little readers that she paid like two bucks for at Walmart. Right. And she did her readers and they're the cutest things ever. So see, um, Fun, fun, Coming fun. Up next. Yeah. So next time you see Keith, he's gonna have leopard eyeballs. Maybe so. I've seen a. There's a selection back here. I might get creative. Yeah. With it. Oh, so, the bright aluminum. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So let's finish this one piece, okay. and then we will show everybody what it looks like. Completely done. And get the inside of them. And then we'll get the inside of yep. the circle and everything. And the inside right. of the hole, we can use yep. any part yes. of what we have Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Yep. And just brush that Yep. On. I usually just kind of stick it with my hands first. And you can even rub it. Now, I'm not oh, wow. worried about that, the little wrinkles on the inside. I mean, honestly, except here I am letting the other side stick. Oh. <laughs> so you don't, I mean, if we can do it, <laughs> you can do it. Um, all right, so all let's right, get let's this get other big piece down. down. And we will be. Can we come around that side? Yeah. All Look right. So we actually did a, um, a set of cornhole boards where we used the um, the camo foil. Let's go ahead and give me a bigger salvage on this side and I can use it. Okay, okay. whatever you need. Ready? Be good. Okay, ready, go. 
Okay. Um, we used, go. we did camo. And we sold them and we put a deer head logo on them. And I think those went for almost $2,000, didn't they? And so they were the easiest set of cornhole boards I think we'd ever done because it was super fast and super easy. Okay, yeah, don't pull so hard. <laughs> You mean because I'm dragging the cornhole Yeah, because you're dragging our cornhole board. <laughs> Rhonda, give them the name of the website again. Artistic Painting Studio. But please do me a favor, guys, is, is use my affiliate link. Because if you use my affiliate link that Claire has posted, or you can go to my website. And on my website, it's in the top tab, and it'll say Affiliate Vendors. She just picked it. Okay. Use that link, and if you use that link, then you can use the code RK3 at checkout and get an extra 10%. But you have to go through that affiliate link in order to be able to use that code. All right, so uh, that'll save you a little bit of money. All righty. Win, win. Win, win. win. All right, so I'm just going to take this down, and I'm going to lay that down on the edge. And then we're gonna be good to go. I'm gonna do that edge so I can pull that up in case I have to do some burping. All right. Okay. Back and forth, okay, as long as I'm yes, not doing something. Yes, back and yeah, back and forth, and 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 like I said, it's gonna take quite a bit. Oh, here, come show this. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, so let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see it. See the little air bubbles underneath here? Right there, see those little air bubbles? It That's why when he pulls this up and burps it, there's going to be black showing right there. Because what's happening is that foil is trapping air, and that's why you're seeing this not adhere good. All right, so we're going to go back down and really scrub that. There you go. Now, as you burp it, it allows that to go sink into those those areas so you get that smoothness okay all right cool and like I said some foils release this foil right here is one of the tougher foils uh, requires a little bit more scrubbing and it because it's a matte foil um, there's other foils that you literally barely rub and you're gonna get a hundred percent of a release so every foil is different and you just kind of have to play but let me tell you, it, they make the coolest tumblers. Let me go show you real quick. I'm going to bring it over here. All right, so this, this tumbler right here was literally done with leftover pieces of foil. So what happened is we had a ton of foils left over in one of our classes. So we just painted our cup black and then we just took all the scraps and little squares and we just stuck them over, kind of a uh, patchwork them on here. And we got this Mod Podge and then what I did is I put epoxy and we tried this. We put epoxy on it. We fogged it with the black spray paint and very lightly hit it with alcohol, and we actually got fracturing like we do our counter crops. Isn't that cute? So what I can do now is I can actually, since this is dry, I can now put a logo if I want, or what a sticker or whatever, and I can recoat this with another layer of epoxy, and now I have a cup that has my name or my logo. So super, super easy to do these foil tumblers. And I've done them with leopard. I have the cutest cup, and it's done with the leopard foil on a, on a cup, and I'm telling you, they're so, so easy to do. All right. How's it looking? y'all? Looks good. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. I haven't gotten down there yet. All right. So we're not going to bore you with doing the other board. Yeah, it's already 49 minutes. Yeah, so we're wow, good. Wow, no kidding. Yeah, so time flies when you're having fun. Uh, for sure. All right, so guys, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to give me a call at our new number, 
And also give uh, Jennifer a call. Oh, and she has a Facebook group that you guys, if you're interested in foil, every one of you need to join it. It's called Foil Everything. And it's, or if you even go in there and just search on Facebook, Jennifer Ferguson, or search Artistic Painting Studio, her groups will pop up. But uh, Foil Everything is her Facebook. And let me tell you, there are some people doing some projects with foils that are just incredible. It, it's so cool. And what I love is this is how I've incorporated these foils into my epoxy is by doing tabletops. Uh, I have a really pretty video, or a great video where I did this table, uh, and I used texture medium, and then I also went over the top of it with some foil, and it is stunning. So, all righty, what are we looking at here? Are we looking good? We're looking good. Don't be foiled. All righty. I love it. All right. Just a little bit right there. Just go ahead and hit that right there. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. Fold it up. Okay. okay. Perfect. Like magic, it's gone. All right, we're good. All right, guys. And then if you want to rub. Yep, I got a little bit on the side here. Okay. To get. Sorry, hold on. I'm trying to. Yeah. All right. Good. And then you want to do the circle? Yep. All right. Okay, guys. I cannot wait. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and foil. I mean, we'll pour epoxy on these, and we'll get some lights put on there, and we will let you guys see what these look like. But they're going to be so cool because I love how the RK3 is going to light up. And A little bit yeah. of bling in the clear? Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to put bling in the Halo. clear. Halo. 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 So Halo, guys, is available on my website. It's a Just Resin product, and it is really cool. It's, it's a super, super fine glitter, almost like a diamond dust, but it's multicolor. So it's not just a silver or a gold like our dust. It's actually uh, got multicolor. Some blues and golds and Yeah, greens. really pretty, really, really cool. pretty. So, all righty. I guess we're good. You know how to do that. That was fun. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Do you want to give any any more announcements? No, I think we're good. So wow. let's. Wow. Yeah. Let. So guys, look how awesome is this is. I love it. If y'all like this and you'd like to see me do some more videos like this, actual tutorials, let me know and we'll do some for you and show you different projects. That one table that I did, um, actually, it was it was a. It was a thrift. Somebody gave us that table. And then we ended up um, doing the, the alligator, and we sold it at an auction. So it went for, uh, for a benefit, and it went for quite a bit of money. Okay, so no questions. Um, I guess that's it. We will be starting our pro class tomorrow. It's four days, so we will be going live quite a bit. And we hope that you join us. All righty, guys. Join us. Yeah. Fun. So, anything Always you fun. want to say, tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, you can find me, Keith McGinnis, KCDC Designs, at kcdcdesigns.com. Now, you can find me on YouTube. Thank you for your support. I am this close to being monetized, so I appreciate your support. appreciate you watching the videos. and Guys, his YouTube is taking off. He has done so... Thank I am you. so proud of you. I Thank mean, you. he is... I'm just so proud of him. He's really, you. I think you got my task faster than me. Yeah, I mean, he's doing amazing. So y'all go check out his YouTube, KCDC Designs, and give him a thumbs up, like, uh, and subscribe. Hit the bell. That way, every time he'll go, he goes live, you guys will know about it. And go support him, guys. He's, he's really growing his business. Thank you. And uh, he is invaluable to us here at RK3 Designs. We just love him to death. So, do that for me. And also, last thing, go join our RK3 Designs Insiders group. All right? Just go to Facebook or Clara can put that link on there and join us. We have so much fun. Uh, we do giveaways. We do lots of uh, Q&A. So, do that for us. All right, guys. Until next week, remember, don't be scared. Move, Move forward, forward and, and be, be creative. creative. We love you.
Thanks, See guys. ya. Bye. Adios!